Our next graduate student speaker is Yin Young. She received her bachelor's degree in horticulture from Suzhou University in China in 2008. She received her master's degree in horticulture from Texas A&M in 2014 and began her doctoral program in plant breeding also at Texas A&M in 2014 when working under Dr. Amir Ibrahim and Dr. Xu Yu Lu. Her research focuses primarily on wheat breeding and genetics. Uh, please join me in welcoming her to the stage. Sorry, I'm a little cute. I need this. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, it's a great pleasure for me to uh, share my research with you guys uh, this afternoon. Uh, today, my topic is uh, analyze the QTL by environment interaction for strapplast resistant in TAMA 11 using saturated genetic map uh, with SNP and RND seq markers. We know that wheat is a very important crop around the world, but, for, but the rust is a major uh, fungi disease uh, dis, uh, destroying these wood crops. Uh, this picture sh shows the three major rust, uh, rust disease, that leaf rust, stem rust, and strap rust. But the strap rust is the most important rust disease in Texas. When it uh, infects the leaves, it spreads the whole leaves and uh, show these strap shapes. And the uh, uh, strap rust is caused by these fungus we show here for PST, and it caused a great, great loss for the yield. Uh, in, the make, in the different wheat growing states. Uh, from the document, we can see that it caused up to 25% of the year lost during these years. Uh, right now, we think that the uh, genetic resistance should be the most effective ways for the rust resistant management because it's most of, uh, environmental friendly. To date, at least uh, 54 uh, resistant genes has been uh, dated. Uh, from uh, has been found from the triticum species and other related related uh, species, but most of these resistances are not infected, not very infective to some PST pathogen races because these resistant are most confers to race specific uh, resistant. Usually for the rust resistant, there are two mechanisms. First is called the seedling disease, seedling resistant, sorry. The second is called adult plant resistant. For the seedling uh, resistant, it's usually risk specific. It is uh, short-lived because of the violence change for the pathogens. But the other ones, adult, re adult plant resistant, we shot for APR, is more infective than the seedling seedling resistant because it's either risk specific or risk non-specific. It, it is more effective because it's uh, considered to be a, long, a longer duration. Our plant materials, TAM111, is a hard, hard red winter wheat released by the Texas AgriLife Centers. It is very popular in the South Central Great Plains of United States because it uh, have a higher yield potential and the good milling and the baking qualities. And it has uh, excellent performance during the drought, uh, drought, drought conditions and a higher level of uh, resistance to strap rust in the 2010. So we hypothesize uh, that these cultivars may process some new QTLs and we want to map these QTLs to shed light on this cultivar, uh, probably it can be a potential parent uh, cultivars in our wheat breeding program. So the goal of my research is to study the QTRs by environmental interactions for strap rust resistant in TAM111 using the saturated genetic map. My objective has two parts. First, to map the QTLs associated with this resistance using the different phenotypic data across the different environment. Second, we want to identify some main and epistasis in fact of the QTL and the interaction between this QTL and the environment. 
um, we use 124 recombined embryonic lines derived from the TAM111 as, as a male part and the TAM112 as a female part. The real population for the 2010, for 2010 year for the, no, the F5 real, real populations for the, uh, for the 2010 year data and the F6 real population for the 2011 and 2012 experiment. We totally have six locations around the around the USA, and uh, we have three years data. But some locations have two years data, so totally we have eight environment. And uh, when we screen the when we screened the uh, re straw brass resistant, uh, we choose four growth stage. They are the booting, hiding, flowering, and the early green milling, a uh, green green filling. And uh, we you we we test uh, strapprost for the infection type from 0 to 9 and the disease severity from 0 to 100%. Let's look at some molecular data of my research. Um, we first used the, the dot markers. 800 dot markers was screened and 600, 640 was mapped. It's part of the uh, research of uh, Dr. Busnit, and uh, he uh, this this part is uh, published in Crop Science in, two, in 2014. Right now, he is the director of the hybrid wheat ecimeter. And besides the uh, besides the dot markers, we incorporate several SSR markers and S SST markers, and the 90k uh, 90k 90 no sorry. 90K slim markers was screened and totally uh, 4,860 uh, slim markers was mapped. Besides this, in and we also incorporate some rnd seq markers. We use several software to analyze our molecular data. We first use the Genomic Studio for the SNP calling, and we also use the GeoMap to, for construction our genetic map. When we analyze the QTLs, we use we first use the map QTL for individual environment analysis, and we also use the QTL network for the data with combined environment to analyze the QTL epistasis and epistasis by environment interaction. This graph shows the different markers data. We can see that the SNP markers are the majorities. And the totally four, chrom four chromosomes have over over 500 SNP markers was mapped, but uh, three but but uh, three chromosomes from D genome have less one have have less than 100 SNP markers was mapped. When we use uh, when we use individual environment analysis, uh, we came out these tables, and we can we can see that uh, here we here I present a major QTRs found in the chromosome 2BL, and it's uh, very consistent uh, uh, across uh, across different environment. It shows uh, for the treat infection for the treat infection type, it shows uh, three out of five environment, but for the treat disease varieties, it shows five out of eight environment. And for the lot for the lot for the lot score you can explain the significance of these QTRs on the chromosome 2B. And the A presents the represents the additive effect. R squares means the uh, how much percentage of the phenotypic data variance can explain by these QTRs. It's a range from a, around the 9 to 35. This is just a graph show the lot file of this, uh, uh, of this significant QTL. Usually we viewed the lot 3 as, a, as its uh, significant ones. So you can see this QTL is up to the 11, around the 11, so it means it's uh, very significant. When we combined all the environment data, we came out these tables. This table just show the treat infection types. Here we can see the uh, the major QTL major QTL two BL shows again here. It uh, with the column A in several negative several negative numbers means it uh, uh, this this. Uh, 
QTLs derived from the female parent, and and you can see the our major QTL to be a issue significant uh, significant interaction with the environment for the infection type. Here we present three environment here. This table shows the uh, shows the uh, treat disease varieties. Let's look at the major QTL two BR again. It shows around the seven seven out of eight environment. It has significant uh, significant uh, uh, interaction. When we combine the, the first two tables, we came out this this slide. You can see that uh, uh, totally four 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 chromosomes. This uh, uh, QTR, the QTRs with uh, both infection type and disease variety, they are co-located in the same uh, similar uh, similar regions. We know that uh, we want to um, participate several additive infect, uh, several genetic infect by the QTR by QTR interaction and uh, QTR by environment interaction and the epistasis in in epistasis by environment interaction this can make this can better us to understand the additive effect because just the additive effect can be used for breeders so these tables we partition several additive effect by the epistasis and epistasis by environment interaction here we present the two BLs with the significant interaction with the QTLs on 2A chromosomes. Both show them in the infection type and disease varieties. But for the treat uh, disease varieties, it, uh, these QTLs also show significant interaction with, uh, with uh, 1A and 4As. Now let's summarize my, uh, summarize my research. First is uh, the genetic uh, base of strap plus resistant in Tama 11 was uh, characterized using the multiple environment, uh, environment phenotypic data and the saturated genetic map. And the major QTLs with the infection type and the disease varieties uh, was in, were in, identified across the chromosomes. And it can be an effective strategy to combine these important QTLs with other major resistant genes. Uh, to improve the strap rust uh, resistant uh, using the marker assistant breeding in the future. I, in the end, I would like to uh, acknowledge some people here. First, I would like to thank my advisor, Dr. Liu from Amarillo Center and Dr. Ibrahim from College Station. I also would like to thank the rust data collection in other state and the genetic program in the Amarillo, breeding program in the Amarillo and the breeding program in the College Station and the physiology program in Amarillo and the AgriLife Genomics and the Bioinformatics Center and the USDA at Fargo and Texas and my funding is uh, um, and my funding source is the Texas Wheat Producer Board and the Texas A&M AgriLife Monocons improvement initiatives and a part of Dr. Busnitz uh, funding is from MBBIS. Thank you. Okay. Are there any questions for Yen? There's one in the back. Can someone take a microphone to the question in the back? Thank you very much. Uh, I just want to ask, uh, these QTLs were found in some phenological stage of that, uh, of the harvest, of, of the crop. So I don't know if we're more in the flowering or we're more in another stage, if you can tell us. Could you repeat? Yeah. Uh, do you find several QTLs? And uh, you said that you would uh, take some markers in different stages. Oh, okay. Yeah. You have different phenological stages yep. of the plant, and you mm. take different samples. Mm. So you can tell uh, in which stage do you find them. Please. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and uh, we totally choose four stage of for the rust data. But uh, when we analyze data, when we analyze data, we combine 
like this, you can see. You can see this picture, this QTLs 2BL, and it's a major QTLs we uh, identified. It, uh, uh, like for the infection type, we choose the flowering, like the FLR means the flowering time, and the BT means booting time. So this QT, we usually analyze all four stages, but we find this major QTL across these two stages, like flowering time and booting time. And also for the disease variety, also the flowering time and booting time. Yes, yes. thank you. We have time for one more question, if someone has one. All right, let's thank Ian one more time. Thank you.